Hi, hello, it's Pip here from queenpipcards.com. Welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this card uh, using the uh, right marker to stamp technique or pen to stamp technique uh, as it's sometimes named. I'm going to be using this stamp set. This is the one for all stamp set. Oh, I'm a bit croaky this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this one for all stamp set is a really good stamp set. It's got a happy birthday on it. Uh, thank you so much. This girl on a bike, have the best day ever. And these um, envelope with the hearts coming out saying sending hugs. And that's the stamp set I'm going to be using today. So this came about from a box that I saw from Rhonda Wade uh, in the US. And she'd created a little box uh, in these papers with this on it. And I thought, that's a nice idea. I'm going to turn that into a card because, you know, casing is, is, uh, is allowed in our... <laughs> <laughs> in uh, in our world which is great so please feel uh, free to case away and do whatever you like with this one um so yes it's really really simple it doesn't it doesn't take long to do so i thought i would just do a quick video on it so the first thing that you're going to need obviously is the sending hug stamp set and you can see that the the, the ink the stamp itself let me just move that away is um is all in one it's quite a large one it has, as I say, the envelope and the hearts and then the words at the bottom. And that's why we're going to use the right marker to stamp technique, because this allows us to ink up just a portion of the stamp without inking up anything else. So I'm going to choose which colour. I've got I've got blue here. Um, these are the papers from the 2018 to 2020 in colour 6x6 designer series paper. They come in the five colours of the in colour. So you've got Call Me Clover, Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch and uh, Grapefruit Grove. So they're the papers and I, I used obviously the Call Me Clover on this one. Uh, uh, this time I'm going to use Blueberry Bushel I think. And I don't know which one of these I'm going to use. I quite like I think I'm going to use this one again, but the other way around. They're both nice, but um, I think I'm going to use this one. So you take one piece of DSP, which is just a six by six, as it comes out of the packet. And then you decide, I'm going to get my trimmer out, make sure that that hasn't got any nasty shiny lights on it. Oh, there we go, just about. OK, so we're going to make sure that we chop it the right way round. So you want the stripes to go. Well, I want the stripes to go this way. I don't want them going that way, although you could do them that way. Actually, they could. They look quite nice that way. Maybe I'll do them that way for a change. OK, so supposing you wanted them this way. You're going to make sure that you chop that down to 14.4 centimetres. And that just takes the end off and makes them the size to fit on a card base. And then what I did was just chop it off at, what did I do? I think it was six, four or six, five. Okay, there we go, five centimetres, um, just to take the edge off there. Um, and yes, it would have been five centimetres, obviously, because this has to be a piece that will fit on there. So this needs to be 10 centimetres to fit on your card front and then you don't throw away the other piece the other piece is what you use you're just going to turn that over and that's going to be your top piece okay so that's all you need in terms of cutting so it's really easy and of course if you've got a big pack you can get masses out from one piece uh, from one pack and one set of card now I just used ordinary thick whisper white cardstock this you're going to fold in half like this Oh, find my bone folder and score that. And then that will fit on top of that. And whoops, straight pip. Straight with the edge. And then that's going to fit on top of that like that. OK, so you can go ahead and put that down because um, that is exactly how you want it to be and the ribbon goes all the way around oh, I've got, managed to pick up an empty bottle here have I? yes that one's dead let's try this one there we go that's better so you the ribbon's going to go all the way around the inside of the card 
so don't worry about that and I like that because it provides some interest on the inside of your card um, but you can cover it up if you don't I know some people really don't like that okay so that's going to go along there like that and then you're going to stick this piece down and if you have a join then put that in the middle of the card because that's where the ribbon's going to go now I did see we did this one at class and some people were doing it down here the other way up which is also quite nice but I'm going to do it this way as I did it before so you're going to overlay that on top of the piece that you've just put down there we go and they'll be the same length because you cut them together so that's always good okay so that's that like that that looks good uh, and then you're going to put the ribbon around now the ribbon is the white cotton ribbon and I've cut it to 75 centimeters to give myself enough to go all the way around the card um, gives me plenty actually but it allows me to then tie it as I fancy could actually make a small bow in this there's enough to do that so I might do that change it up a bit even more make a small little bow there we go that's nice that's nice let's turn that there we go so I'll fiddle with that in a minute there we go. um so yes yeah, so put that on and then you've just got to leave room here for your sentiment it's going to look like this okay so let's get on with the sentiment so here i have the matching pens these are the right markers the in color 2018 to 2020 right markers and these are great because they're basically the ink from our ink pads but in a pen so here's the blueberry bushel ink pad okay and we'll stamp that and i'll just show you so if you were to stamp this all up in blueberry bushel like this okay it would be lovely but then you'd have um you wouldn't have enough room to cut out your circle of sending hugs because they'd be the bottom the bottom piece of the envelope still stuck in there so that's no good so you need to be able to do it just with just the the wording so i'm just going to clean that off My trusty scrub okay so now you can see it's clean again so now so that's the ink in the pad which is nice but doesn't really help us so now I'm going to do the pen, the right marker to stamp technique. And basically, you just paint the ink on with the brush end. This is the thin end with the thin line. This is the thick end with the thick line. And you just paint it on like this. There we go. And, you know, you can be quite quick with it. I'm taking my time here but you don't have to just want to make sure that you've got nice coverage I always breathe on it afterwards just to reinvigorate the ink because obviously it's um it does take some time to put the ink on so there you go once you stamped it you can see it's slightly lighter than the ink in the ink pad but it is exactly the same color and that's the thing I like about um you know these right markers is that exactly the same color so it means that you can do things clever things like that so i could have inked up the um envelope in a different color the hearts could have been a different color and you could do all of that with your right markers so now i'm gonna do my sending hugs there we go there we go and this is the one and a half inch punch i've already punched myself a one and a half inch no a one and three quarter inch circle out of the coordinating color okay there like that uh, and then that's it pretty much <laughs> I told you it was quick and easy so um, we're just gonna literally layer this up 
and then I cut uh, from the new sparkle uh, paper, uh, glimmer paper, if I can pick it up, I also cut uh, a heart, a sparkly heart, and that was from using the, where are they, the wood crates. This wood crate framelit set is brilliant because not only does it include the actual frame, you know, the actual uh, die lit, die, framelit die that makes the crate, it also includes this rooster and the heart, the moon and the star, which is fab. So you can use these as little embellishments on other cards. I use them all the time. So yeah, wood crate is a great die set. Okay, so I layered this flat onto the blue, but you could always pop it up on, you know, dimensionals if you wanted to. I just, um, oh, I think I need to get some, oh, I definitely need to get some more ink, uh, more ink, more glue. Good job I've put some in my next order. So there we go. So that's going on there like that. Then we're going to use dimensionals. It's the easiest thing to use. So we're going to grab some dimensionals here. Okay. Now you know me, normally I'd have said one in the middle, but actually we've got um, ribbon going on here so that's fine so then you're just going to pop that on there you can do it straight you can do it high you can do it you know at an angle I'm just going to pop it on there like that I quite like a little bit of the angle to it and then I'm going to use another dimensional and you're just going to check where it's going to you need to put it on this side and then a little bit of glue there we go and that's going to slide onto there like that and that's going to hold that there like that there you go then i would just trim the ends of my ribbon obviously because they've got a little bit tatty when i was pulling them around so trim the ends of my ribbon there we go and we're good to go so I did I did say it was a very quick card um, but you know that's great isn't it when you're in a hurry you need a quick card very easy very simple you don't need a lot of supplies um, they are with a knot double knot or with a bow either way you can now go off and send some hugs to people all right thanks ever so much if you like it all the details are below um, including a link to my blog post and obviously all of the products that I used which you can purchase from me in my shop so um, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll see you again soon. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye.